hey guys i'm here with another video and now we are going to talk about the seven reasons to upgrade to the iphone 8 and 8 plus and couple of not two so we have already know the apple finally announced their flagship devices so you have an iphone 7 or 7 plus and after yesterday keynote you are in unsure if there is any reason to switch to the iphone 8 or 8 plus or maybe you are just looking to find how much of an upgrade the new models are either way you have come to the right place we went through all differences between the new iphone 8 plus and found seven solid ones to justify an upgrade over the 2016 to the 2017 iphones Design the iPhone 8 Plus has an all new glass back and a new color option. Apple promises that its new launch strengthened glass is the toughest yet on a phone. And storage the base storage of the iPhone 8 Duo is now double that of an iPhone 7 family. We are finally past the new where the starting price got you the storage that was borderline unusable on your main phone so apple also introduced a wireless charging on iphone 8 plus has a back class for a reason it supports the qi wireless charging standard and fast charging the iphone 8 and 8 plus also have fast wired charging up to 50 percent of charging just 30 minutes if you own an iphone 7 plus you know how tediously slow it charges and improved screen, the iPhone 8 Plus retains the display size, resolution and display technology, LCD but the screen is different, it supports Dolby Vision and HDR10 and it's a true tone display meaning it will be the read the ambient line and adjust the white balance accordingly and you can also find the other Dolby Vision and HDR display just like in LG G6. And now a new camera. The new camera remains 12 megapixel. The iPhone 8 comes with a new larger sensor and a better faster image signal processor. All of this promises better focusing in low light, low noise in low light, real image, time and motion analysis, body and face detection, wider color capture, new frame rates for video 4K at 60 FPS as well as slow motion 1080p at 240 FPS. Portrait mode on the Plus models have gotten better. It now supports portrait lighting which scans the scene and lets you choose what type of light hits your subject. Strong, soft, studio and you can adjust if you have taken the shot too. And the new chipset which is A11 Bionic chip. This is the biggest reason by far A11 Bionic chip should wipe the floor with the A10 Fusion. It's built in on a new Tandem processor. Uh, process as opposed to the 16 nm of 8 and fusion it has more transistors more cpu cores 6 versus 4 and a new apple made gpu a11 bionic has six cores and two performance and four power efficient ones uh a10 fusions has two of each types the a10 fusion chip can run either the two fast cores or the two slower ones while the a11 can run all six at the same time apple promises 25 percent faster performance cores 70 percent five faster power efficient and 70 percent faster multi-threaded performance so let me know your thoughts in the comment section below hit the like button subscribe to my channel Peace out.